If you're not confident in building color palettes, I'd like to share a quick tip that works so well, it's mind blowing. <laughs> First of all, I wanna mention that there's no shame in being a beginner or feeling confused about color. Color is the number one enigma for my students, so please know that you are not alone. I believe one of the reasons for this confusion is that color is such a personal choice. That means everyone has a different idea of what colors that they should use, and I think that's pretty cool. The problem is when there's no clearly defined right or wrong for using color, but there are a few guidelines you can follow that make a lot of sense. In fact, I'll give you a simple formula that works for me every time. I call it the three-part color rule, which assembles colors this way. Warm plus cool plus neutral equals balanced color palette. Doesn't look so scary, right? Just to keep this really foolproof, if you take warm and cool colors that are complementary colors, in other words, colors that are directly across the color wheel from each other, and pair them with a neutral, it's hard to go wrong. I did this when I chose my brand colors. I started with a rusty terracotta brown that reminded me of the desert where I live and paired it with a sky blue. Then I added a soft warm gray as a neutral to ground this color combo to add a bit of the unexpected. You can try this with any complementary color combo, and you can even use different tones of these colors, like I did, instead of the standard orange and blue, and it should still work great. Have some fun and play around with this formula. Then choose three to four colors, five at the most, using this formula and document your final choice in your workbook in the color palette section before moving on to the next video. This project is meant to be low pressure and playful, so don't Overthink your color choices too much. If you're still confused, go with what you like and what makes you happiest. Color choices will help you tell your story without you even having to think too much about it. So don't stress too much on this point. Now let's do a quick recap of this lesson. Use the three-part color formula to choose a warm color, a cool color, and a neutral. Use warm and cool colors that are complementary colors to stay in the no-fail zone. Select three to five color max in order to keep things simple. You can use different tones of the same colors to keep your palette a little more interesting. If you're still confused about your color palette, choose what colors you like or what colors make you happy. These are the colors that you're going to love painting with. And if you're not comfortable with any of this, I'd like to invite you to follow along with me and use my colors. Please know that this formula is something you can always come back to later when you're feeling more comfortable with it. I can't wait to see what you came up with. Now it's time to get the big picture of our project. <music>